Enix and Avalanche Studios have pushed the limits of open-world sandbox games, combining unlimited freedom, a fully customizable toolset, and never-seen-before gameplay physics to make the largest, most beautiful, and dangerous Just Cause world ever built. Welcome to Solis. Powered by its new Apex engine, Just Cause 4 has never looked or played better. And once again, the action has been dialed up to 11. Set in South America, you play as Rico Rodriguez, a former agent hell-bent on uncovering the truth behind his father's past in what will be Rico's most dangerous and personal mission yet. Inspired by countries like Peru, Bolivia, and Argentina, Solis features many unique environments and places to discover, from lush rainforests to mysterious caves, dense cities, and hidden temples. Every biome is packed with people to meet and amazing vehicles to experiment with. Plus, all populated with iconic landmarks, a variety of animals, and incredible vistas. But behind the beauty lies a dangerous phenomenon. Solis suffers frequent extreme weather events. Tornadoes, torrential lightning storms, blizzards and sandstorms all form systemically in the world. At the heart of the narrative, Rico will pursue the source of these destructive forces whilst hoping to clean up his family's name. But Rico will face a new breed of adversary with advanced technology who control all resources on Solis. Meet Gabriela Morales, leader of the Black Hand's powerful private army and Rico's fiercest rival yet. To confront her, you will need to build an army and fight along new and familiar faces. Each character you meet and each mission they give you, no matter how big or small, will all aid you in your quest against the Black Hand. The main plot of the game unfolds on your terms. Players will tackle each and every objective in any order they choose. Your own actions and itinerary will decide what you experience on Solis. Throwing in bold new gameplay systems that are as fun as they are visually stunning. Extreme weather events bring new, interactive physics systems and new combat opportunities. Rico's grapple, his iconic gear, is now fully customizable with boosters, airlifters and tethers, each element featuring tunable parameters that generate millions of permutations of loadout for countless hours of fun and amazing Getting around is just as exciting on the ground as it is in the air, with more vehicles than ever. From agile microjets to new construction vehicles, all built to be used, destroyed and then resupplied to players. Whether you intend to create chaos or just lay down some serious stunts, our world offers an unparalleled amount of terrain and toys designed around player creativity. Ask for a custom supply drop, equip your best grapple combo, and unleash your creativity. Want to fly a tank over an enemy base? Fancy destroying an entire settlement with a giant inflammable custom-made bomb? If you can imagine it, you can do it. Each and every weapon is designed to offer something unique and we made sure each brought something different to the table. Weapon options range from the powerful to the downright incredible and each weapon has a devastating secondary fire mode. For those looking for a more hardcore experience, head for the front line. New to Just Cause 4, the front line is where Solis' rebels have gone to war against the Black Hand. In these war zones, players will experience high levels of heat and incredible firepower. Just Cause offers more than ever, and you can look forward to unlocking more tools and toys to play with as you experience the game's story campaign and explore the world of Solis. The world is yours, and what you do with it is up to you. It wouldn't be Just Cause without animals. And in Just Cause 4, you'll see the biggest variation of wildlife so far. From the tiny critters such as butterflies that flutter among the clifftops to lumbering llamas that ramble through the atmosphere, creatures inhabit every corner of the world. The rainforest will hold animals such as the capybara, wild boar, and the cute little tapir. Whilst the grasslands, being a farming area, will be slightly different, with more cows and cattle knocking around. 
The Alpine is quite a barren and hostile environment, so there will be fewer living creatures gracing the snowy slopes. Deer, goats, and llamas favor this region. Finally, you'll find various goats frolicking through the dry and dusty setting of the desert, lapping up the sunshine and loving life. Whilst animals aren't fundamental to gameplay in Just Cause 4, each type living in their own distinct habitats contained within the biomes adds to the sense of realism. Not to mention, they're just extremely cute. Let's take a look at all the different types of animals living in their environments. Some animals branch across multiple biomes, such as the capybara, a mammal that looks like a big guinea pig. These favor grasslands and rainforest for its palatable climbs and plentiful plants. The Indo Brazilian cattle thrives in the tropics, with a greyish coat, short horns, and a distinguishable hump on its shoulders, not unlike that of a camel. They just look so funny. The tapir, my personal favourite new addition to the world of Just Cause, looks like a combination of a mini elephant mixed with a pig. You'll find these cute little mammals living in the rainforest. The humble cow makes its home in the stretches of farmland within the grasslands biome. You won't find these cows in the wild. Pucker up, Rico. Just kidding, just kidding. He had more than enough cow kissing in Just Cause 3. Karaku cattle are a dual purpose breed, which are raised for both milk and meat production, found only in the grasslands. They're very hardy animals, well known for their high adaptability and excellent maternal ability. The feral hog is a descendant of the domestic pig and has broken out of confinement to live in the wild. The wild boar is very similar to the feral hog, but they just look a little bit different. Deer and doe love hanging out in the alpine and the grasslands and always look extremely graceful when striding across the landscape. Goats are plentiful in Solis, living in grasslands, alpine, and desert. The standard goat loves clip-clopping across the mountain tops, whilst the bouge goat, distinguishable by its dark coat and pale floppy ears, are happy on sandy stretches of desert. The Repartida goat has a tan brown back half with a darker front and pointed back horns. So adorable! And finally, perhaps the ultimate animal of them all. The one, the only, llama. These lovable long-necked llamas can be found trotting along in the alpine and the grasslands. You might want to get out of the way, llama. There's a tornado heading directly for you. <laughs> You can't ignore what's going on here. We need your help. Now. I'm not doing this again. It's already started. You thought you could just walk away like this? You need me, Rico. Let's see about that. I am the fear behind my name spoken light. The enforcer of every rule I now broken like That information ain't misleading that gun is smoking like Brother he is I don't care who he is or what he wants We're nearly ready Give him a taste I'm just Guys, come see this We've never been up against anything like it. They want to bring the thunder. Let's bring it. 